the importance of estuaries for predicting climate change impacts in the oceans. Climate change is threatening the world's marine ecosystems in myriad ways due to rising temperatures, ocean acidification, and sea level rise. Another often overlooked effect is that warmer temperatures and changing weather patterns can alter the transmission of many marine parasites and infectious diseases. Such diseases don't just impact their host populations, as cascading effects can disrupt entire ocean food webs. Kriti Thalam at Stanford University studies the evolution of marine parasites and diseases along with the broader implications for marine ecology. In a recent review paper, Thalam focuses on critically important ecosystems within intertidal zones. Intertidal zones are areas of seashore that are covered at high tide and uncovered at low tide. These diverse areas support thriving populations of unique animals and plants and act as nursery grounds for many deep water species. As such, intertidal zones are essential to the overall health of the oceans. Estuaries are one particularly important type of intertidal ecosystem as they function as a critical interface between freshwater and seawater. Estuarine species are useful indicators for monitoring climate change and diseases in both aquatic and terrestrial habitats. However, researchers who measure changes in estuaries often use different methods and work in diverse regions. These discrepancies make it difficult to collate and analyze their data together to understand how estuaries change over time. Towards creating a more standardized approach for tracking changes in estuarine ecosystems, Thalam investigated numerous studies published over the past two decades that measured intertidal health. Thalam's investigation shows that research into parasites and diseases in marine ecosystems significantly lags behind research in terrestrial ecosystems. Despite this shortcoming, she was still able to reveal some key themes from two decades of research. First, intertidal marine habitats are likely to be most vulnerable to temperature increases and changes in rainfall related to climate change. The heightened exposure of organisms in these habitats to such changes makes them useful proxies for the effects of climate change on disease dynamics. Thalam also revealed how these ongoing climate-driven changes will influence the balance between marine species, diseases, and the environment. As an example, she highlights how eelgrass, which is a key ecosystem engineer, will likely decline because of climate change-related outbreaks of eelgrass-wasting disease, which is caused by a parasite, Labyrinthula zosteri. A clearer understanding of the mechanisms that impact disease dynamics in intertidal zones will be a crucial result of Thalam's review. Her work has also revealed that much more research needs to be focused on measuring estuarine changes using standardized methods. Such improved monitoring of these accessible habitats would enable us to predict and mitigate the effects of climate change on disease dynamics in marine ecosystems. 